Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you're getting the message cannot verify server identity on iPhone. So here's what you have to do. The first solution that I highly recommend is to unsubscribe from calendar events. So what you have to do is open settings, then tap on calendar, afterwards tap on account. In here, simply select your calendar subscription and toggle off the use SSL button. Now, if the SSL verification errors still pop up, consider unsubscribing from the calendar event altogether. Just tap delete account on the same page. And that's it. You can check if the issue still persists. Moving on, you can also adjust your date and time settings. Now, if your iPhone is set to the wrong date and time, certain errors can occur. So here's what you have to do. Open the settings app on your iPhone, then scroll down and select from general date and time. Now simply toggle on the button for set automatically. Alternatively, you can also check if the time zone shown is accurate. And that's pretty much it. From here on, you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to clear the Safari website data. To do this, open the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down until you find Safari and just tap on it. Now simply tap on clear history and website data. Now the next move under clear time frame, select how much of your website history you want to clear and you can choose last hour, today, today and yesterday and all history. Now just toggle on the close all tabs button to erase all your open tabs too and then tap on clear history to confirm the action. And that's it. Once again, check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also remove then add your Google account. So here's what you have to do. Open settings, then mail, and then account. Now just tap on the malfunctioning account and scroll down to delete account. The last thing you have to do is go back to the accounts page and then tap add account to bring back your Google account. And that's it. You can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset your iPhone to factory settings. Now, this is a last resort, so proceed with caution. Go to settings and tap on general and scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. And then reset all settings, enter your passcode, then confirm the action. Make sure to back up all your files beforehand because the process wipes everything on your device. And that's pretty much it. After the reset procedure, you can check if the problem still persists. I hope this video was simple enough and that it helped you. And if it did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.